Good morning, folks. We had two tier one level videos yesterday. Hope you caught them. We've got developing science stories coming later this week, but today we've got a sampling from across the board and a minor event we're watching in the solar wind. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star where the solar flaring remains low due to the lack of sunspots, plasma filaments remain stable, and we've been waiting for the impact from the coronal hole stream that was expected sometime today. As of this morning, looks like the process is beginning. Phi angle flip in blue and the start of the plasma speed surge indicative of a coronal hole solar wind enhancement are here. They're very minor, as expected. We'll be monitoring geomagnetic conditions today. Up first in the articles, they have found cold and complex molecular gas clouds racing away from the center of the galaxy, a significant outburst event that is confusing scientists due to the fact that any such outburst should have destroyed those cloud constituents, but it hasn't. Once again, we find the activity and recycling action of the galaxy at work. Seeing in different wavelengths is like getting an entirely new perspective on a situation. Up next, add more to the pile of pre-earthquake signals. This one looked at atmospheric and ionospheric anomalies that preceded the big Haiti earthquake in 2021. And total electron content, once more, shows the strongest signals prior to seismicity. Good one up next on the ignored topographical impacts on solar radiation impact to the Earth system. These have been ignored due to the perceived difficulty in accounting for them across the world, but it seems that was a grievous error in the name of simplification. Climatistas bungled this one in a big way. Last but not least, an outstanding study of pandemic activity in China showed a clear connection with sunspot minimum. While high solar activity has notable impacts on cardiovascular and psychological parameters, it is the low solar forcing that appears coincident with nearly all major historical pandemic outbreaks in China, and in more recent years, it's also been shown to have a more negative impact on the human immune system. Again, if you missed either of yesterday's videos, especially this one, all of the catastrophe evidence put together, please check out our channel and see those two videos from yesterday. Our books have been on sale, but today is the last day. That link is down below the video in the description box. Take advantage. Get these key resources now. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.